What up YouTube, this is Zertrix and today I'm bringing you guys a little tutorial on how to split text like this. Um, as you can see it's split diagonally, uh, blue on the top, white on the bottom. Looks really nice, it looks really good in partnered backgrounds, not a lot of people do it, pretty original. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do that. Uh, what you want to do is start a new tab up, uh, put on some text. Uh, in my opinion the best font to split is Agency FB. So for short of Zertrix, I'm going to put ZTX just to be easier. Um, make sure you're on actual pixels. I already am. Just make sure you are so you know the size of it. Um, now you want to right click this, the text layer, and go to rasterize type. And now it's like a normal layer so where you could like edit it now and like to where it was a text layer. You couldn't mess with it whatsoever. Like you couldn't erase it or put lines in it. But um, now you want to hit the little uh, rectangle tool or whatever you want to call it. Make a good size rectangle. Um, and you want to fill that in. Uh, right click, fill. OK. Now control T. Now tilt it sideways and bring it down. Alright, now just put it on your text to where you think it looks good. I'm just going to put it right about... Mm, put it right there. Hold on. I'm a little, a little bit picky when it comes to GFX, as most people are. But, um, put it right there. And I'm done. But, yeah, anyways, just put it right there. Um, so what you want to, oh, I wasn't supposed to do that, you, ha you have to keep it highlighted, or whatever you want to call it, selected like that. And then you want to go to your text layer, the rasterize layer, hit and delete. And, yeah, it's delete, and then you want to unselect that little thing. And then you want to hit the little eyeball to make that rectangle disappear. And as you can see, there's a nice little split through it. And now what you're going to want to do is zoom in real close to it, choose the pen tool, and you're going to want to pen tool this text. Uh, you want to go to paths, hit make a new path, and you're going to want to make a path for each letter. You could do a path for each little section of the letter, but I'm just going to do a path for each letter. Now I'm not going to pen tool it just perfect because I'm in sort of a rush to get this, um, this tutorial done. But um. Another thing that helps out, guidelines could really help you out in this kind of situation for making straight lines and pen tooling. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start over and with a new path with some guidelines. So just put a guideline bottom, top, just to make it look better, or just to be straighter, whatever you want to call it. Sorry, I can't talk when I'm doing tutorials. I just get frustrated. But um, yeah, just pen tool out the text. Uh, doesn't have to be perfect just get the general shape of the letters and as good as you want it to be um, so this is all one path I'm going to do the the whole letter um, yeah, I'm just going to do one take on this I don't feel like doing this again if I mess up but um yeah it's not the best but it looks alright so you're just going to want to do that for each letter so hit new path and then you start on the next letter and just do each little section. All right. Sometimes you may want to zoom in a little bit farther with the zoom in or zoom tool, magnifying glass tool, whatever you want to call it. You might want to zoom in a little bit farther to get the lines straighter or more like defined. All right. Last path. I hate X's, but anyways, just pen tool this little piece out. Almost done. Yeah, it's a little bit messed up, but oh well. I don't feel like doing this again. Um, almost done. 
Uh, if you guys want to see any more tutorials on how to do stuff, like if you see anything on people's channels or anything that you want to know, just come to me and ask me. I know how to do most stuff. Um, if I have any requests, I'll do some tutorials. And this was a request from one of my friends. So, um, yeah, I'll do the same for you guys. If you need any help on knowing how to do stuff, I'll do some tutorials. This is, I'm going to start doing more tutorials now. This is my first tutorial in a long time. But I'm going to get back to the subject now. And uh, now you should be done pen tooling the text. And then you want to go to... You just hit enter on that. And then you want to go to file. Export, pass to illustrator. All paths, make sure it's all paths. Hit OK, and then just put it anywhere. Um, should be an AI folder. I don't really know what it stands for, but all right. Now go to Cinema 40. It should save instantly. Go to Open or not Open. If you have a a light kit like I have, let me scroll out. You have to hit File, Merge, and that's just like opening it. That's just opening it with your light light box or whatever you want to call it, light room. Um, oh, whoops, you want to put that to, I think, centimeters. And scale one, keep those checked, okay. And as you can see, it's up there. Um, yeah, so what you want to do, most of you guys already know how to make this. 3D and you just hit that little box right there go to extrude nerves do a few of them oops see how many paths it is it's seven paths so I need seven nerves alright so just put each path in an extrude nerb and you can hit the little minus thing to collapse it back in. Alright, last one. Alright, so as you see, there's a nice split down the middle. You can make that split smaller by doing a smaller rectangle on Photoshop, but that's good enough size for me right now. And you choose all the bottom ones hold control and click the bottom ones if you don't click the bottom one just uh, click it again and it'll undo it alright so I have all the bottom ones highlighted and I want to make the bottom blue and I want to make the top uh, let's make the top a nice purple no no no, no. make it white I'll make it look too fruity. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. That is how you make the split text multicolored. Um, I would do a, a short render, but that takes too long. Um, I might put a final image, so just look for that. And yeah, comment and like and sub. And just if I get maybe to 25, 30 likes, um, I'll probably do another tutorial because that will let me know that you guys like tutorials. And eventually, I will make tutorials on basically everything I know if these tutorial things work out good for me. Um, yeah, I'm out.